Hello students, today we will continue in consignment rounds. We did four problems in the previous video. We will continue with another four problems in this video. So my request is those who have not subscribed for our channel, kindly subscribe and share among your friends. So we will continue with the stock valuation of stock and valuation of abnormal loss. Right? Question number 5. Mr. Amar Bangalore consigned goods cost of rupees 6 lakhs to Anant of Bangalore. Mangalore. Mr. Amar expenses of rupees 5000. 1 by 20th of goods were lost in transit. Insurance claim received rupees 4000. Calculate the abnormal loss. So, we have to calculate the abnormal loss. So, very simple calculation of abnormal loss. Cost of goods sent on consignment 6 lakhs. Right? Add non recurring expenses, it is 5000. Then it comes to how much at least 6 lakh 5000. So, total goods lost in transit is we can see it is 1 by 20 of the goods were lost in transit. So, 6 lakh 5000 into 1 by 20 is how much at least 30,250. But where they have made insurance, that means they have taken insurance. Insurance is a must. So, when you have taken insurance, the insurance claim that they have received is how much actually? 4000. So, you are, you are getting that 4000. The goods last is 30,250, but you have taken insurance of 4000. So, the net abnormal loss is not 30,250. After deducting insurance, it is 26,250. This is how you have to work out this problem that is calculation of abnormal loss. Now problem number 6, good sent on consignment invoice price rupees 4 lakh. You should try to understand what is invoice price. Invoice price is called as selling price. So the selling price always includes what actually profit, right, rupees 4 lakh at cost plus 33 one third percent. So one fifth of the goods were lost in transit. Insurance claim received rupees 9000. Calculate the net abnormal loss. Say in the previous problem, we had get only what actually goods costing. Now we are given on the other way what actually the profit also. So when profit has been given, then how to find out that one? Say that let us understand, try to understand. On cost profit percentage equal to on sales profit percentage. Profit percentage. Profit percentage. I am writing in pencil because you will come to know that. On cost profit percentage is equal to on sales profit percentage, which you have done earlier in the, the previous classes. 33% on cost is equal to 25% on sales. That means 33% on cost is equal to 25% on sales. Or one third of cost is equal to one fourth of sales. Here, one third. If you take cost, then it is 25 percent mean it is 1 by 4, 1 fourth on sales. So, this you have to learn throughout what I play your become a career because this is very, very important. You should know that on cost percentage is equal to on sales profit percentage. It is equal, right? There are several things. Say 25 percent on cost is equal to 20 percent on sale, 33 percent on cost is equal to 25 percent on sale. 50% on cost is equal to 33 one third percent on sales. So, there are several things, but it is one and the same. You must be very careful when it has been given like that, then how you should take? You are supposed to take a cost, you are not supposed to take invoice price or selling price. So, calculation of net abnormal loss, cost of goods sent on consignment, 4 lakh is invoice price, invoice price. So, minus one fourth, 33% on, on cost. 25 percent on sales is one third on cost or one fourth on sales. So, one fourth of four lakh is how much actually? One lakh. So, from four lakh you minus one lakh then you will get what actually? Three lakh. That means it is nothing but selling price minus profit is equal to cost. Selling price minus profit is equal to cost. So, that is three lakh, right? So, this is very important because I should know what is the cost of it. So, cost is how much actually? 3 lakh. Goods 
last in transit is one fifth goods last in transit is one fifth one fifth of cost if i calculate one fifth on four lakh it is wrong because four lakh includes profit profit cannot be taken for loss we should take only the cost so three lakh into one by five is how much actually sixty thousand where you have claimed from the insurance company how much actually nine thousand so six sixty thousand minus nine thousand so net abnormal loss is fifty one thousand so this is how to calculate you can see the difference between the previous problem and the current problem so you must be very careful while working out the problem you should read costing consigned costing invoiced at or selling at then you must be very careful that includes always profit right now the problem number 7 mr ram manohar of mumbai sent 100 bicycles with cost rupees 900 each to gopal of chennai on consignment basis ram manohar paid freight of rupees 1200 cartage rupees 300 insurance rupees 400 in chennai gopal has spent rupees 100 as cartage loading and unloading charges rupees 50 The bicycles have been kept in godown at a monthly rent of rupees hundred. At the end of accounting period, twenty bicycles remained unsold. The selling price of the bicycle is rupees one thousand in Chennai. Cost is how much actually nine hundred. You are selling it how much actually one thousand. This is the confusion always they give. So you must be very careful. What should be the value of stock unsold? Now what is the problem which says? the problem is says that you have to supposed to cal calculate closing stock the value of closing stock here nothing has been given regarding abnormal loss normal loss nothing they have given straight away how to calculate the value of closing stock that means unsold bicycles say there are they, he received how much actually 100 bicycles say 20 bicycles are remaining means how many bicycles that he has sold he has already sold 80 bicycles so here you have two types of what actually expenses one is from the consignor 1200 300 and 400 whereas from consignee it is 100 and 50 but bicycles has been kept for rent means it is not a non non recurring expenses it is a recurring expenses so you must be very careful and you must be able to differentiate between recurring and non recurring expenses then you have should calculate the value of particular closing stock so let us say calculation of closing stock cost of goods sold that is goods consigned 900 into 100 it comes to how much actually 90000 that is cost is 900 how many bicycles 100 bicycles it comes to 90000 add non recurrence recurring expenses of consignor freight 1200 cartage 300 Insurance four hundred, so thousand nine hundred. Then it comes to ninety one thousand nine hundred. Then add non recurring expense of consignee, cartage hundred, loading and unloading fifty. Then one fifty. So total cost of that nine hundred bicycles is how much? Actually ninety two thousand fifty, right? Ninety two thousand fifty. Now value of closing stock. For hundred bicycles, the cost is how much? Actually, ninety-two thousand fifty. For twenty bicycles, it is how much? It is simple calculation of six standard or seven standard, right? So ninety-two thousand fifty divided by hundred into twenty is how much? Actually, eighteen thousand four hundred and ten. So this is one type. You can calculate straight away on the other way. That is alternative method. Alternative method. cost of unsold bicycles how many bicycles that has been not sold 20 what is the cost 900 so 900 into 20 then it comes so much actually 18000 and proportionate expenses of consignor how much expenses he has made 1900 proportionate that is 1900 for 100 for 100 it is 1900 for 20 it is how much then it comes so much actually 380 In the similar fashion, proportionate expenses of consignee is how much? Actually, one fifty. So one fifty for hundred. 
So, for 20 it is how much? So, 150 divided by 20 divided uh, 120, 150 into 20 divided by 100 it is 30. If you total it up then it comes how much actually value of closing stock is 18,410. You can work out either in the first method or in the second method whichever is convenient for you from the examination point of view. So, this problem is not on what actually loss it is on how to calculate the value of closing stock that is called as unsold goods. Now, problem number 8 A sent goods worth rupees 10,000 to B and paid 1,200 for packing and rupees 800 for insurance. B took the delivery of the goods and paid rupees 2,000 for freight, rupees 400 for cartage and unloading. Rupees 600 for go down rent and rupees 400 for selling expenses and rupees 800 for insurance. So, here only two items that is 600 uh, the unloading, then 400 for freight and what actually 2000 for what actually freight. So, you should take only once again non recurring expenses. B sold three fourth of the goods that is 1500. Calculate the value of closing stock. So, here they have not given what actually the number of units you have to calculate in value only. So, that is the thing say in the earlier problem 100 bicycles they see he had only 20 bicycles and calculate the stock. Here it is very simple on the other way goods worth 1 lakh and they have given the expenses and they said that the B sold 3 fourth of the goods. So, 3 fourth means that is still how much is remaining 1 fourth is remaining. So, one is they may get you the problem with the number or without number that means straight away with value, but in that case they are going to mention the other part that is percentage right. So, let us work out how to work it out that problem calculation of value of unsold goods cost of goods sent on consignment 10,000 add non recurring expense of A that is consignor package then insurance 1200 and 2800 then it comes to 2000. Non recurring expenses of B that is consignee freight 2000, cartage and unloading 400, then it comes how much actually 2400. Total cost is how much actually now 14400. So, total cost of the whole consignment which has been sent is how much actually now that is 14400. B sold 3 fourth of the goods that is 14,400 into 3 by 4 is equal to how much actually 10,800. Total value consigned is how much actually 14,400. Then he sold how much actually 10,800. So, value of unsold goods is how much actually 3,600, 3,600. This is one way this is one way straight way or in one line you can write when you you are supposed to calculate this calculation without fail then 14400 straight away you can calculate say he has sold how much actually 3 fourth how much is remaining 1 fourth is remaining. So, 1 fourth straight calculation 1 fourth of 14400 is equal to 3600. So, both the methods are one and the same either you can work out here or you can straight away say like this or uh, but you must be careful you have to work out this step that means calculation of value of unsold goods you have to calculate this then you apply either the first method or the second method. So, this is how we have to calculate the unsold goods that is called as stock of unsold goods. Once again I request that those who have not subscribed for this channel kindly subscribe and share among your friends. We will continue in my next class the consignment accounts the different type of problems. Thank you.